Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, no, 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 see, what you did was, close it, mm -hmm. close it and reopen. You should not check that ActiveX that you are checking again and again. Close it and oh, reopen. Oh, okay, again. activate, okay. Okay, uncheck now, login, and then follow the same steps and let me know, okay. Because that mask, ActiveX and all, it should not come. Oh, okay. Okay. Try and let me know. Okay, Ritu? Okay, then. Okay, the next thing. Uh, okay, what is this? There are some messages. Let me check out. Okay, told ActiveX when we need to. No, Lavanya, see, you should not click that ActiveX, okay? Yeah, Swarna, right, Swarna, that is true, okay? Right, Amrita, yeah, that's what, you know, I was telling her to, you know, uncheck it. Correct, okay, fine. So, the next topic that we have is, you know, like, quite interesting topic. And that is the VB scripting, okay? The Visual Basic scripting. And what we are going to discuss here in the Visual Basic scripting is, no, Ritu, it should work. Wait. Maybe you are doing, you know, some mistake. Wait, uh, Ritu, I will um, make you the presenter again. Share your screen quickly. Stop this. No, that's what you know. See here. Active uh, mask check is still there. Click on stop. Okay. Then um, it should not come this ActiveX mask. Okay. Remove that uh, line number 7. Okay. Now open that application, the flight reservation. Now go to the resources. Object repository. And then add objects. Go for add objects. On the top, yes. Click on that. And then click in that uh, date of flight. Yes, click on that date of flight. It is selected. Click on OK. So this is added. OK. Now go to line number 7. Window flight reservation. 
Start typing window flight reservation. Type it manually. Window flight reservation. Don't give space. Okay, then close it. Dot. Win object. Type it. Win object. Win object. Open the bracket. Close it. Dot type. Space. And then um, in the double quotes, write 12, 12, 12. No, don't put the slash. Simply 12, 12, 12. Okay, how, how many times did you put? Remove that last one. Okay, now go back to the object repository. Okay, um, expand that uh, flight reservation. Okay, do you see there is a mask ED box? In the flight reservation, delete that. Okay. Now close the application which is at the bottom and then re-execute it. Close this. Object repository also you close it. Go to the flight reservation. Close this. And then re-execute the script. Okay, did you get what the problem is? Okay, again it is saying. Um, Is it so, Dinesh? Let's check, okay? Stop this one. Ritu? In the fly from, check whether there is Sydney or not. It should be present, Dinesh. Go to, uh, okay, anyways, you know, we'll check. Is it, uh, Sydney is present? Yeah, see, this is present, okay? Okay, you do one thing, uh, Ritu. Um, close the QTP, reopen the QTP with ActiveX as unchecked and then re-record the script again. Okay, then uh, let me know if you face the same problem. Okay. Basically, while recording, you know, you have checked that ActiveX. I removed it, but I don't know why it is like detecting again and again. Okay. Hmm. That also could be a problem, uh, Lata. Okay. See, Ritu, you have unchecked and then recorded it all. You know, you have unchecked and then you just modified and you're running it. No, it is not case sensitive Prima. No, 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 don't use the previous script, okay? What you do is uncheck and then record a new script and then, you know, you try it. Okay. 
okay no you can try it later and let me know okay Okay, everybody got it? Yeah, I don't know, you know, because I have been using all the licensed versions. Yeah, the trial versions will have lot of problems. Yeah, and then it work later on, Manisha. Okay. No, no, see, web application, no, Windows application, yeah. Okay, you try it, Ritu. Okay then fine. It is done, right? Ritu? Alright. So uh, can we move to the next topic everybody? Let's go to the next topic, okay? See the problem is the ActiveX, Ritu. You had checked the ActiveX and then you know you are repeating the same thing. So that was a problem. Okay. So in the VB scripting as I said, we will be learning the declaration and then how to accept the input from user how to display the output to the user okay then next after that we will see what are functions and then control statements okay in the control statements we will be learning the branching and looping okay okay so let's start with the declaration we will write a small program now I take a new file and then we are going to write a small program now okay let me increase the font size okay we will write a program to accept the first name and last name of the person and display his full name okay fine so let's start writing the program the first thing that I said you know we got to do the declaration then we got to accept the input from user secondly we got to do the concatenation means joining the first name with the last name and then display the output four steps only so this is a program that I'm going to write to accept the first name and last name of a person and then display his full name so first we got to do the declaration and then accept the input concatenate and then display the steps okay so how do we accept the input we have input box open the bracket do you see it is asking us to enter the prompt prompt is nothing but this is a message that we are going to give to the user let's say in so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. 
The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.